I love that the title of the movie, you take the Van Halen song and sort of, because it, it perfectly captured, I think, that, that feel that you're going for. If Richard were going to make a movie about your life, what is the song title that, that you think would perfectly capture who you are? Uh, Regrets? Dude. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, God. That's a great question. I don't know. Um, it's yeah, it's, it's going to be a long junket. So I was trying to come up with something that was yeah, going to be a little bit. I want to say, I want to say, uh, can't always get what you want. In the Stones. Nice. Yeah. One. Well done. Yeah, I like that one. Good old boys like me by Don Williams. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was going to say a jokey one, but I don't want you to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Pat Benatar's uh, Shadow of the Night, but I don't want you to use that. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I got one I want to use for you I'm right now. Like, yeah, yeah, please tell yeah, me. Yeah, no, you do it. Yeah, I'll take a suggestion because I'm drawing a blank. Pretty, pretty fly for a white guy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man. Yes. 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 Pretty okay, fly for nice. a white guy. There we go. Done. Perfect. Ones. I like that. Thank you so much. You <laughs> saved that. me so much. So I feel like anytime I watch any other director make a movie about high school or college or any sort of coming of age movie, I, I watch a lot of them and think that's not how it happened. At least that's not how it happened for me. But anytime yeah. I watch Richard make a movie, I'd say Richard like I know the guy. Mr. Linklater make a movie, I always feel like, okay, that's it. He nails it. What is he yeah. doing that a lot of other directors apparently haven't figured out how to do yet? Paying attention. Not that other directors don't pay attention. Not trying to say that, but Rick really, really does pay attention. Uh, and, and I think he just kind of takes note of, 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 of human interaction. And you can even tell when talking, we, we get the chance to meet some of his old teammates from college. And you can even tell when hearing their stories about him. He's just a little bit different than other people because he's just sort of there watching and, and, uh, and you know, being kind of more silent observant type. Uh, and I think it comes through because, you know, when you talk to him about the 80s or, you know, what his experience was like, he's just spot on with his details and just, you know, really, really specific with everything. Yeah, I, I think he, I think he just, he listens to other people too. I think he yeah. has, he has his vision and he has what he wants and, and everything, but he allows everyone else to contribute so much that it doesn't become this stale one point of view uh, that's trying to create all these characters. He's really great at knowing, knowing the character types and then allowing other people to come in and really kind of make them unique in their own way. So uh, you, I think you avoid cliches that way and you allow things to kind of take hold by trusting other people to, to create with you. And I think, I think Rick is probably the most incredible collaborator I've ever, yeah. ever worked with, uh, for sure. And I, I can't imagine someone being more of that kind. Yeah, and the second, you know, before we started shooting, he sent us like this email saying, you know, the script's great, but he's like, if we, if we shoot the script as is, He's like, none of us are going to be happy. He's like, right. we got to get together and throw stuff at the wall, see yeah. what sticks, play with right. our characters, get to know them, listen to the music, all that stuff. So he, he had our backs with the collaborating side of it from day one. Yep. Day one, yeah. And it definitely comes through because in no part does it seem in any way scripted or, you know, it just sort of seems like we just sort of caught up with these guys and yeah. pressed record and just sort of saw what they were doing. Yeah. Um, Tyler, you were kind enough to let me geek out last night. I told you that my favorite movie of all time <laughs> is Road to Perdition. <laughs> yeah. And so it's cool to, to even sort of be in Chicago talk with you about it. So I was wondering if I could ask you sort of what you remember from that time shooting in Chicago. What are your sort of most vivid, vivid memories of, uh, of that time while, while it was a while, uh, you know, a while ago? Uh, vivid memories. I, I have one. It's Somebody actually was nice enough to remind me which street it was, but there was a scene where we're driving across the La, La, La Salle yeah. bridge yeah. over the river. Um, and I will always remember that day just because we had that entire street shut down and everyone on the sidewalk was in 1930s clothing. All the cars were 1930s going up and down the street, in and out of the city. And it was just uh, visually, that's like the most like, stunning memory that I have of Chicago and shooting that movie here. But I think just, you know, I, I learned a lot on that shoot. Um, I was young, but I, same kind of thing. I just paid attention and I just wanted to watch and take in as much as I could. And, you know, working with guys like, uh, Tom and, and Paul, just like seeing how they carried themselves and conducted themselves as, as professionals on set. You'll never meet uh, greater guys and guys who carry themselves the right way. Uh, so that was just, I mean, just, I don't even know. I mean, dinners, Joe's is like the one stop that I always go to when I'm here. We all went there for dinner last oh, night. Nice. It's a very sentimental nice. place for me. It's great. Uh, so it just, it, it's, I'm just happy when I'm in Chicago. I had a lot of great times. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me geek out on that. I appreciate it. Of course. It. Man, uh, so of course. getting back to this, um, obviously Richard has been able to capture the 70s. He's now perfectly captured the 80s. If he perhaps inevitably makes that 90s movie, <laughs> what are some aspects of that decade that you most look forward to seeing how Richard's going to capture? Oh, dude, we jammed some Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Sega uh, Genesis. Uh, yeah, N64. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, Mario Kart. I mean, the scene on Mario Criss -cross. Kart. Crisscross. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, I think I would like to see the, the whole panic leading up to 2000. That yeah. would be uh, that would be fun. Oh, yeah. 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 We could do, we could do it in 90. It could be the nice three thing. days before the Y2K. Before scary. the Y2K. Like, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. It can be that. Oh my Rick gosh. Kill that, that would be great. Awesome. You would kill that. <laughs> Is this the first time this has ever been discussed? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, we're just I, discovering this right now. But yeah, the soundtrack are. could be all the '90s greatest. Do, yeah, uh, <laughs> so I'll make that pitch here in a little bit and call Rick up. Yeah. Yeah. If Let's this ends up I happening, I want some sort of like a special thanks. Yeah, or, yeah. Like, an executive producer <laughs> no, totally. credit. Yeah. I want something. Yeah, coming yeah, on the ride. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I know you got a lot of interviews today. Thank you so much for your time and thanks for letting me geek out with you. And I appreciate the the kind words last night. So I appreciate it. Oh yeah, thank you very much, man.